Hi, we're going to take a look at Article Scrape Chief. This software can get unlimited articles from multiple article directories based on your inputted keywords. It can then spin those articles using the Spinner Chief API. So let's take a look at Article Scrape Chief in action. So first we need to create a new task using this simple wizard. Give the task a name. Lose weight. And now we need to select the article directories that we want to use. Now you can see that some of the directories have a G in brackets next to their name. This means that the directories use Google. So you may need to use proxies for these. Article Scrape Chief has full support for proxies, including those with username and password. Now for this demo, I'm just going to select a couple of non-Google directories. Let's see, Amazine and uh, Go Articles. That's enough, I think, for the demo. Click OK to that. Um, and now we set the parameters for the scrape. Click the Set button there. First, the, the keywords. Click on Next. Now we click the add button so we can choose which parts of the article to scrape. I'm going to choose the title and the content. Now we choose the required number of articles. And now we choose how we're going to save the file. So first I need to uh, sorry, choose a different text file. Now I need to browse for a directory, there's one. And I'm going to use one of the file parameters as a file name here, namely the title. That's the obvious thing to use, isn't it? Click Finish. Now I can do the same again for the Go Articles template, or I can just copy the one that I've just done by clicking this Copy Settings button and choosing Go Articles. That's them both done. Now I can finish and we have the task here now. So if I select it and run it, Article Script Chief will go and get the articles according to the parameters that I've chosen. So I just click run here and we can see here the task is running. Now it is going to take a minute or so to get the article, so I'm just going to pause the video until it's finished. Okay, we're back now. I can tell you that was actually less than one minute to get those articles. And just a point to make, if you the parameters that we chose for the, uh, the project, you can change them all by clicking on this settings button here. If I click on it, all of the settings that we chose in the wizard here and here, you can change them all. So if you get them incorrect in the wizard or you want to change them afterwards, it's not a problem. So Article Scrape Chief has finished scraping the articles that we requested. Let's have a look and see if we can find them in the uh, folder that I selected. Lose weight fast, that was the one, wasn't it? And it timestamps the folder. And there's the 10 articles. Let's have a look at one. There you can see it's in uh, a normal text format. So now we can go ahead and spin these articles using the Spinner Chief API. So I'm going to choose a directory rather than a file. And the directory is that one, isn't it? That's the one it came to. And we need to select a, a path to save the spun files to. So I'm going to use this spin test folder and now I'll oh, change the threads to five so it's quite fast now we spin by hitting the button there and you can see it started spinning we've got the progress bar here and when it gets to the end the job's done so let's see if we can so spun articles there's the spin test folder and there's the ten spun articles and they're all in the spin tax format which I'm sure you're familiar with now that's quick, that's easy, that's simple. 
it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, I hope it's going to do the job just for you, just how you want it. Thanks for watching the video.